Hi everyone, today's video topic is preparing multi-boot flash memory. Why do we need such a thing? We may want to install an operating system on our computer with a flash memory, or we can use it in recovery operations when our operating system crashes. Some computers may not have a DVD reader. In such cases, flash drives can be our savior. We can add multiple Windows versions to our flash memory, as well as Linux operating systems. We can do our operations by selecting any of them on the start screen. Now let's see how to prepare a flash memory like this. The program we need to use for this is when set up from USB. When we run the program for the first time, it automatically detects our flash memory. Back up the files in your memory before these operations. Activate the auto format memory option before dumping the first operating system installation files into the memory. This option needs to be disabled in the next step. After that we find the installation file to transfer Windows 10 files to our memory. We select it and start the process. After we find the file, you can review the process steps by selecting the Show Log Records option. We wrote the Windows operating system files to our flash memory. By choosing the Linux option, we wrote our Linux files to our flash disk in order. I will send the Fedora Linux installation files into the flash disk. Our multi-boot flash disk is ready. Now we boot from flash memory by restarting the computer. We can go to the next screen by pressing the F1 key on the first screen or by waiting. Our Windows format option is in the first place. In second place is the operating system on the computer. Then you see the Fedora option. Fedora Linux is a live operating system, so you can use it directly without installation at first. Let's quickly examine the Windows 10 installation process by choosing the Windows format option in the first row. Our installation process begins. After this stage, I will show you the installation stages in the virtual machine. This is how I do it so that the screen recording is cleaner. We proceed by accepting the license agreement. Then we choose the custom option. I will show you a clean install step. Be careful when the disk format screen comes up. You may lose your data. Here you will have different partitions on your computer. Begin this process by first noting the partitions where you store your data. Backup data on partition D if your disk has partitions C and D. We choose create a new disk option and Windows does it automatically. The initial partitions in MB contain the boot and repair files for your operating system. The operating system files are transferred to the partition in the primary category immediately after them. If the capacity of your disk is sufficient, you can create a different partition by adjusting the size here and transfer your personal data to the partition you created.
We have completed the necessary steps of the installation process, and the installation process is started. That's it for the installation process. After the processes are finished, our computer will restart and be ready for use. Then you need to ensure that your operating system works stable by installing the appropriate driver for your computer's hardware. We have come to the end of our video about preparing multi-boot flash memory and installing Windows. See you again.